Hello everyone, this is the Classic Pro and today we are going to be playing Mega Man. Released in 1987 for the Nintendo Entertainment System by Capcom. Produced by Capcom. Uh, Mega Man is one of my favorite video game series of all time. Well, another one of my favorites. And it's a very well-known platforming game. Well, platforming shooting game. And what makes it unique is that you can choose um, what stage you want to go to first. You don't have to go to any certain order of stages. But first I am going to choose Gutsman. And according to the database, Gutsman is a civil engineer robot. He is so powerful that he can lift and carry a rock of two tons. His quote, MAXIMUM POWER! Um, good point, sentimental. Bad point, one drag mine. He likes karaoke and he dislikes arguments. Well, that's a good thing. But anyways, um... People don't usually go to Gusman's stage first. Well, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Usually people go to Bomb Man's stage, but I like to save Bomb Man's stage for last because I, I like the music better and it fits well. I, I don't usually take on Bomb Man first. I usually take on Cut Man, but then I would have to go to the Leg Man, but I don't want to do that because I need to fight Gus Man. Because there's a weapon that I need to get from Elegman. And it requires Gusman's weapon. And that's another thing about Mega Man. Um, once you defeat a, um, a boss, which are called Robot Masters in the classic series, um, you can take their weapons and you can use them for your own. So that's another unique thing about Mega Man. So we're almost at the end of the stage here. And here is one of the worst enemies in the whole game. He is called Big Eye. I said Big Eye. No pun intended. It sounded like I said big guy, but it's big eye. Uh, these enemies are one of the well-known enemies in the Mega Man series. They're called Metals. Um, they like to hide in their helmets, and then once you get close to them, they'll open up and shoot a bunch of sh uh, shoot a bunch of beams at you. Um, as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to grind for health. Because I don't want to take on this boss and end up dying. Uh, one thing about Mega Man is that when you... When you destroy an enemy, sometimes you'll end up... Um, uh, when you leave that area, the enemies will respawn. So that's one thing about Mega Man. That could be annoying, and at the same time, that could be a good thing. Anyway, here is Gus Man. Um, he has two two types of um, weapons, well, abilities. He'll jump, and then he'll stomp the ground, making an earthquake, which will cause you to fall down. So you have to time your jumps correctly, so you won't get hurt. Well, you won't get hurt, but it will distract you. And if Gusman jumps straight up, then a rock will fall on his head. He'll grab it and then he'll throw it at you. But anyways, that's Gusman. Now it's time to take on Cutman, which is one of the most, one of the easiest robot masters to take on in the game. Not to mention that you can pretty much defeat him without any use of a weapon easily with the um, with the arm cannon 
So now I'm going to show you guys um, Gusman's ability. Um, he has what is called the Super Arm. And the Super Arm allows you to pick up um, brick blocked walls, or, well, stones. With just one hand. Literally one hand. You can also jump. And you can walk around with it. Um, it has its uses, but it's not the most useful weapon in the game at all. Not to mention you... You won't have many, um... There won't be many times where you'll be able to use it. But that's all I've got to say about that. Um, anyways, here is Cubman's stage, and according to his database, he is a robot who was originally created for tree trimming work. The cutter on his head is extremely sharp. His quote, snippity, uh, snip, snippity, snip. Good point. Sharp and cunning. Bad point, stubborn. He likes haircuts and dislikes rocks. And it makes sense too because... Um... It's like rock, paper, scissors. It's a pun for rock, paper, scissors pretty much. And that's another thing about Mega Man. Um... When you... When you get a weapon from certain... Um, bosses, well, Robot Masters... Um, it is up to you to find out what the other Robot Master is weak to. And it's kind of like a pun for Rock, Paper, Scissors, because Gusman, Gusman's um, weapon can be used on Cutman, which is, um, which are throwing rocks. So it's a pun for Rock, Paper, Scissors. So that's one unique thing about Mega Man. That's what makes Mega Man a unique thing. A, a unique gaming series. And also, um, when you're shooting with the arm cannon as Mega Man, um, you can only shoot in a straight line. You can only shoot in a B line. Um, if you want to shoot at a higher area, you would have to jump. You can't aim in any other directions, which is um, the main point of the game. And that's what makes things a lot more, a bit more challenging. And that's the thing about Mega Man is the challenge. It's a challenging game series. Now I'm about to show you guys a trick. And that was the trick. Uh, watch out for these guys. Um, they'll shoot in eight different angles. So here is the big guy. Uh, always giving me trouble. Uh, one thing about these guys. One very annoying thing about these guys is that they take a third of your health. 33% of your health. So, pretty much, if you get hit by that thing even three times, and you're at full health, it's over. Now it's time to fight Cutman. Uh, like I said, he's one of the easiest robot masters in the whole game. And he is pretty much, he's one of the robot masters that suffer from knockback after you hit him. And it, it takes a big chunk of his health off of him. Anyway, we just beat Cutman. Now it's time to fight Elecman.
Cubman's weapon is called the Rolling Cutter. Um, what it does, you shoot it and then it goes in a in sort of an arc. It is kind of like a boomerang weapon. And it does help in some spots. So here is Elagman's stage. And Elagman is one of... Well, is probably the worst robot master in the whole game. Because of what he can do to you. His weapon... Can destroy Mega Man in three hits. Just like Big Eye. But anyways, it's time to look at Elegman's database. He is a robot originally created to control the power of power voltage in an electric power plant. Feel the power of my thunder beam, which is what his weapon is called. By the way, um. Anyways, a good point. He. He has responsibility. Bad point, he's twisted. <laughs> yeah, twisted. He likes guitars, but he dislikes rubber products. Makes sense. It makes sense a lot. Now, what makes um, Elegman? Weak to Cubman's ability is that Cubman can ricochet Elegman's electricity. He can ricochet um, his Thunder Beam, Elegman's Thunder Beam. And it makes sense because the Rolling Cutter is very sharp and is made out of metal. Obviously. And I just killed myself just because I was trying to get some health. If I, if I wanted some health, I may as well should have just died in the first place, but... Nope. Oh well. Be careful about these enemies, because they are quite annoying. Another run of these enemies, huh? Like I said, very annoying. Very annoying enemies. Oh, there's that weapon that I was trying to get earlier. Well, there's the weapon that I need. This is actually a required weapon to get. So, you're going to have to get this. Either way. This is called the Magnet Beam. It allows Mega Man to create platforms. And of course it has ammo. Yeah, the, uh, the Magnet Beam repeatedly responds. That way you can get extra ammo. Just by wasting it. Uh, the Magnet Beam is a very useful weapon. Well, a very useful item for Mega Man. And it's actually one of the first helping items in the Mega Man series, in the Mega Man franchise. Um, of course it doesn't really appear in any of the uh, um, future games, but that's okay because everything after, well, pretty much every th item after this game has plenty of use. Oh, look who it is, it's Big Eye. Oh, and one annoying thing about this guy is that... He jumps in two different... He jumps at two different heights. You never know when he's going to jump really high to the point where you can just walk under him. 
And you never know when he's going to uh, just hop and do a long jump. So that's what I find annoying about this guy. And... Elect Man is down! And that concludes the first part of Mega Man. Next time, we will be continuing on with Iceman. See you then.